Okay guys, this is part two. Uh, Matt just went, now I'm gonna go. Get that out of the way. Just the bill. Put this to get a t-shirt. Same one Matt got. Um, we'll set it off with some yum, I guess. It's yum's version of a Senko. Got a bunch of these, and I don't know why it's like wet and slimy, but I don't know. It's black and blue. Like, I got a lot of these because I got a lot last season too, but I used them, so it's kind of the go to bait. This one's in watermelon seed. I got mostly 5 inch too. black and blue flake. I'll go kind of quick. You guys know what these are pretty much. Senko. Bluish. Black and blue again. Mostly black and blue I got. It's like a bluegill. This one is watermelon laminate with a white. Five inch black and blue again. Black and blue, again, a lot of black and blue. This one's in Bama Bug. Black and blue. Black and blue. Melon pie, not black and blue. Black and blue. Black blue flake. Black and blue. And black and blue again. Uh, this one is smoke white laminate. This one is kind of a watermelon seed again. And this one is melon pie. That's all the young, so I'm going to kind of move that out of the way. Okay, so that was just like the basics that we use until the fish get active and bite on a lot of other things. But, okay, now to some jig stuff. This is Strike King. Got some tubes. These are okay for smallies at my cabin. Don't use them a lot, but I think I just got one pack of those. Uh, booyah spinning bait. This is a double willow. Jig. Well, not a jig, but jig trailer. Uh, Senko hooks. Gonna need a lot of these. This is size one. One knot Senko hooks. One knot in size one Senko hooks. Senko hooks. Ah, uh, okay, I guess another pack of young. Uh, buzz bait. This is half ounce buzz bait. Holy cow. This is a big buzz bait. <laughs> Did not think it'd be this big. Half ounce. <laughs> it's like a musky bait, but okay. Okay, now this I don't I just got it because at my cabin I get into some pads that get pretty thick and someone said that these were good to make a lot of commotion on top and get the big ones to come up so I don't think I'll be using that too much where we live but maybe at my cabin so you can see it's big King Daddy 
Now I get into some weights and hooks. A couple of jigs though. Uh, swim jig, black and blue. And uh, bleeding shad swim bait. Now we got some bullet weights. This is uh, just basic black bullet weights. Two packs of those. Some pencil weights for grab shots. Those are good for smallies and loogies. Pretty much all season. Some spin shot VMC hooks. Why not? Food grab shots. You can tie the two lines to one. There's that swivel. Two packs of those. Let's see. Pencil weights again. Bullet weights. Bullet weights. Bullet weight. Now we got some shaky head jigs in one fourth ounce with a thing that you can screw the loom into the top so it doesn't slide down the hook. Two packs of those. Two more packs of the VMC spin shot. And this is a VMC spin shot wide gap. Pencil weights again, bullet weights, uh, black and blue jig, duty jigs, Senko hooks, those can double up as drop shot hooks too, I use them as both. Uh, some weight pegs because it gets, I don't know about you guys, but for me it's pretty annoying having the bullet weight slide up and down your line. So you just stick one of these on. Six cents makes them. You just stick it on, it stops your weight. And then a sticker. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess just comment if you guys would like to see anything new from the channel.